Hi, I'm Amy from the Waves and Wild team and today we're going to be looking at the first few steps for making the Wonder Undies. The Wonder Undies is an adult underwear pattern with lots of different options. You can make it in sizes XXS up to 7XL. The options include choosing between briefs or short style, low rise or high rise waist, and you can also use jersey bands or elastic to finish the waist and leg band sections. So today we're going to be looking at steps one to six, which involves putting in the gusset and gusset lining and adding the two main body pieces. This is done in a way that encloses all of the seams, so there's no internal seams inside the gusset when you're wearing the Wonder Undies. And the method that we're going to use is sometimes referred to as the burrito roll method. So let's have a look at how those steps one to six go. To do the first few steps of the Wonder Undies pattern, you're going to need four different pieces. You're going to need the main back piece, the main front piece, and then two gusset pieces, one cut out of your main fabric and one cut out of your lining fabric. And today I am doing the short option with the low rise waistbands and I'll be adding jersey bands to the waist and the legs later on. So for the first step, we're going to need both gusset pieces and the back. So I'll just put the front piece out of the way. So this is step one. I'm going to take the gusset lining piece and I'm going to have it so that the longer edge is near to me. And I'm going to place that with the right side facing towards me. It's a little bit harder to tell because it's a, a solid colour fabric, but this is the right side of the fabric facing towards upwards towards me and then I'm going to put the back piece on also with the right side of the fabric facing towards me and I'm going to match up this long straight seam with this one here so that's going to go on top of there I'll neaten up the lining up in a moment and then we're going to take the main fabric gusset piece and that is going to be lined up with this long seam again, but this is going to go right side down. So I'm looking at the back of the fabric. Before I get these lined up, I'm just going to recap exactly what layers we've got. So the first layer is that main, that outer gusset. And then if I just peel that back a little bit, we've then got the right side of the back of the undies. And then underneath that, is the right side of the gusset lining and they're all lined up on that long straight edge and all those edges will be exactly the same length so if it doesn't match up uh, exactly then you've got the wrong piece we need to make sure we're not using this much shorter end of the gusset so i'm going to get those lined up pin in place and then sew along here to complete step one. You're going to be sewing through all three of these layers. Now that seam is sewn, securing those three layers of fabric together, we're going to move on to step two. So we're going to move both gusset pieces away from this main back piece. So if we just pull that one down and fold that one over to meet it. And what you should have here is that the shapes are matching up and we've got the two wrong sides of the fabric are now touching each other and I'm looking at the right side of the outer gusset piece which is um, it doesn't have to be the same fabric as your main undies fabric but mine is here so they match up and then when we flip it over and we're looking at the wrong side of the main piece this is the right side and this is the lining of the gusset so we're going to keep those down flat and folded out of the way. I'm going to take the front piece and put it right sides together on the back piece. We're not sewing it in place. I'm just placing it here for now. And what we're going to do next is step three. 
and I'm going to take hold of both of these pieces, front and back, and we're just going to roll them forward a little bit. Doesn't have to be super neat because we're just rolling it to get it out of the way. But if it's nice and tight, that can give you a little bit more flexibility later on. And now for step four, I'm going to take the outer gusset piece with this short straight edge and I'm going to take the short straight edge from our front piece and I'm going to match these up with the fabrics right side together. Now again, they should match exactly. So if they don't, you might have got the gusset the wrong way around. Hopefully not at this stage. And I'm going to clip those together to secure them in place. And we should still have the gusset lining here. And here's that seam that we sewed in the earlier step. Step five, we're going to take the gusset lining piece and what I'm going to do is to have it go all the way round the back like that. So I've still got this little roll here, which is just keeping the bulk out of the way. I'm now looking at the right side of my gusset lining and I'm going to have this edge come and meet these two that are already clipped together. So that's going to go like this. So again, we've got gusset front of the undies and then outer gusset here. And we should have the two right sides of the gusset fabric are facing each other with that front piece sandwiched in between. So we're going to pin those three layers together and sew through those three layers to complete step five. So I've sewn those three layers together, that shorter straight edge of the gusset pieces. We've still got this little roll that we did earlier. And now I'm just going to unroll it all and lay it out flat. And that is going to be our step six. So you just need to pull, pull your back and front pieces out. And then if we lay it down flat, I've got the back and as I move it up, I've then got the gusset here and the other side is the lining and then we've got the front facing the other way around. So this is the shape you should have. It should, all you should be seeing here is the shape basically of one gusset piece. If it's longer, then something's gone wrong in an earlier step. And then if I flip the whole thing over, we've then got the wrong side of the back. I've then got the right side of my gusset lining and you can see inside those are the two seams that we created earlier and then we've got the front. And now what you want to do is to treat the two layers of the gusset now as one piece. So these layers around these two curved edges are just one piece that are going to get sewn into the legs in the later steps of this pattern. And if you want to check that it's looking right at this stage, you could fold the front up and just have it lay on the back pieces there. And it should kind of look like some undies, which it does really. We're gonna end up putting the waistband here and leg bands here. But there is our outer gusset and there is the gusset lining and nothing looks like a crazy length it all looks sort of to the right scale so now you would just move on and complete all the other steps following the instructions so at this stage we're now up to step seven where you're going to have the main two fabrics right sides together and you're going to start to attach the sides and you're going to add the different bands waistband and leg bands and you might be doing those as a jersey band or elastic edging or a combination of both and that's how to do the burrito roll method to get a fully enclosed gusset in your wonder undies.